Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Global Polo TV. We are getting ready to start the finals of the 2022 edition of the Women's U.S. Open Polo Championship, presented by Eastern Hay and Icon Source, benefiting the Susan G. Komen Foundation. My name is Toby Wayman. Joined with me today is a very special guest, Cecilia Cochran. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank, thank you for having me, Toby. Thank you for having me, Toby. It's You're great to be here. Welcome. All right, so we were going to have Hawaii Polo Life taking on Blue Water today. And they are here at the U.S. Polo ASSN field number one. And Celia, you look excited. She's I'm got this big <laughs> grin on her face, ready to go. I'm very excited. I love all these girls. They're incredible players, so can't wait to watch this game. They really are, yeah. Now, and, and well, before we, you know, we've got a lot of pomp and ceremony to get through here, so you and I can talk a little bit before we get going. Um, well, you've done a lot of research. You went and talked to a lot of these girls and everything. You've got some great background on all, all of them, don't you? I mean, you know a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I'm friends with the majority of them um, and getting to know the, the others more and more. Like Hazel and I just have sort of become friends this year. And wow, what an incredible person she is. She and really is. Um, Izzy Parsons on the, other, on the Blue Water team. She's also another incredible uh, player from England, lives in Kenya, is in... Uh, Animal conservation, which is very cool. She's a consultant. Um, Kylie Sheehan runs a polo school. Uh, Cecily Kors is a junior at um, UC Boulder. Um, who else do we have out there? Sophie Grant was the uh, interscholastic female player of the year last year, which is pretty cool. Fantastic. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, Megan Shader runs a uh, horse retirement uh, program. And Mia has a breeding operation, um, which is called Crea Cali Calibri in That's Cordoba. Fantastic. Yeah, I didn't realize that she had her own operation separate from her father. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's Pam Flanagan, who is a renowned oh. horse rescuer. And, and a horse and a lawyer by trade, right? And, yes, she is. Yeah. Commercial real estate tax law. That's incredible. Some very intelligent, intelligent ladies out there outside of the game. But... Uh, well, while we've got a second here, while they're bringing them in, let's go ahead and check out our two team rosters. So we're going to start off with Blue Water here. Sophie Grant playing number one, number two today. Kylie Sheehan, and man, she's been playing so great. She actually won this tournament last year, along with BTA The Villages. Izzy Parsons, number three, with an eight goal handicap, highest rated player on her team. And then Megan Shader there in the number four position. Then for Hawaii Polo Life, Cecily Coors is playing number one today. Number two, Pam Flanagan, who I have to say I think has been getting better and better and better, not only as this tournament goes on, but over the, the few past few years we've been watching her. Mia Cambiasso needs no introduction right there. Play, she's an eight-goal player. And then Hazel Jackson, who has just blown my socks off watching her play this, this uh, tournament. She is, you and I were talking off air before, how she's such a great player in her own right. But, I, you know, I mean, she's getting to play some incredible horses here. And not only is she smart, she's quick. She shows these horses so well. Agreed. That's something that's so much fun 100%. to watch. 100%. It's phenomenal to watch her. I mean, I, if we could all be like her, <laughs> it would be amazing. Right? Exactly. <laughs> all right. Well, we're, like I said, we're here. Field number one, U.S. Polo SSN field number one at the International Polo Club Palm Beach. Where our two mounted officials today are going to be Julian Appleby and Adrian Wade. Third man is Kimo Huddleston. We just had our ride in from the scoreboard into the field and I tell you what we've got some really great horses that are coming out here today you know playing obviously Adolfo helping out with Mia Mia's getting horses not only from her dad but also from her brother and from David Paradise today and then we've also got some other great horse providers here, too. Uh, on the Blue Water team, Izzy Parsons is being mounted by Matias Magrini, as is Megan Shader. Ah. And then you have Kylie Sheehan, who is, has built an incredible string for on her own. She really has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wow. <laughs> I mean, Open Persico is playing two checkers. It, it, that horse won Best Playing Pony in the Knights in 2020. 2020 yep. Under with Winston Painter, yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're having our national anthem right now being sung. It's 
Chao. Okay, so there we go. That was our national anthem. They're going to go ahead and introduce the two teams here. It looks like they're going to start off with Sophie Grant. Right here playing for Blue Water, playing number two, Kylie Sheehan with her white helmet on right there. Number three, Izzy Parsons. And playing the number four position today for Blue Water is going to be Megan Shader. Megan had a bit of a tumble in her last game there up against G-String, but she didn't seem to be any worse for the wear. She actually came back and scored two back-to-back -back really great goals. She did. She did. For Hawaii Polo Life, playing number one, Cecily Coors. Number two today is Pam Flanagan. Pam, very, very good going to the... Uh, Going to the man, for lack of a better way to put it, you know, just ease of saying it there. Mia Cambiasso, number three, and Hazel Jackson, one of only two 10-goal female players in the world today. And you were saying both, uh, both our female 10-goalers come from England. Yes, and then you have Leah Salvo in Argentina, who's 10. But right. there are two women from England, which is impressive. That's very impressive, yeah. And then also I was talking to Celie Cochran here before the game which I didn't realize about Hazel until I went over and was listening to Adolfo talk, uh, you know, coach the girls up before their first game, is how well, I mean, she speaks Spanish as well as any Argentine I've ever heard. She's totally fluent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she told me that uh, she graduated from high school and went to New Zealand for six months to play polo, and then thereafter she's been in Argentina. She just went down, fell in love with the country, and has been there ever since. I mean, she goes back and forth to England. Sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, she's... Well, you know, kind of another interesting fun fact that I found out talking to Leah Salvo's husband. Um, Leah has already, she's gone to Texas right now to, to visit her sister. And then she's got to go back to, to Argentina. And apparently, Leah pay, plays basically all women's polo throughout the year. She's oh, yes, she does. She's a professional woman's player. And what a graceful, elegant player she is. She really is. She is it, she's so much fun to watch. She just she glides on a horse. And, and, and you know that's the other thing that I have to say my hat is off to, to all these women players especially the top ones that come in and play internationally. They're playing different horses all the time. I personally could not carry my handicap if I wasn't on my horses you know. Yeah, and for them to come in and do what they do. These wow. women first and foremost are riders. Yes. Um, and that's what I think makes this so special is because you're right they, they do go in, in all the tournaments that we play I have a, I get that question a lot of like, well, you know, do you ship your horses to Jamaica or to England? No, 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 no. You rent or yeah. you borrow and you get on and you ride. And, and all these women are incredible riders. They really are. It's uh, as a matter of fact, while we've got a minute here, why don't we go ahead and check out our first chucker horse list here that we've got coming up. So we pick out a couple of them here. Delfina Nostalgia there that Mia's playing is actually being played by her dad uh, in the gauntlet right now. But and that then, one's fun. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I love Hazel Jackson's on Larry. Yes, <laughs> and then uh, Cecily Kors is on a is on Win It, who the Kors family got from Mikey Matz last year. And then Kylie Sheehan is on Open Persico. Yes, which you can tell us the bloodlines of that one. Yeah, Open Persico is. Uh, let's see. It it's, yeah, it's 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 it's, uh, Ellerstina, it's an Ellerstina chestnut gelding owned by Kylie, best playing pony. And then it's uh, Chihita and Grappa Casino. So out of Chihita and by Grappa Casino. Impressive, impressive. Very much so. And she'll be playing this one again in the fifth chucker. Right, yep, coming back. Sydney coming out uh, is going to be, uh, Sophie's going to be coming out on Sydney as a spare, I think. It's a 13-year-old chestnut mare. She played in the 2021 Knights Championship, and she won Best Playing Pony on in 2019 Girls Knights. Wow. And 2018 USPA Women's Arena Handicap. Right. Wow. Okay. So it looks like we've got our players back out on the field getting some final instructions from our two mounted officials. Then we'll get this game back underway. Celie, have you ever had a chance to play on field one? I have. A long, long time ago during the WCT finals. Yeah. And I played with Karen Reese and Leslie Ann Masterton and Sherry Lynn Hensman. So. Against Sonny Hale, which was phenomenal. That's amazing. Yeah, I got to play. I got to play on this field one time when I played the twenty-two goals with Jillian Johnston um, for Bendabout with uh, with Miguel Estrada and and 
Negro Estrada was our team. Wow. We played one game here, and I tell you what, it is, it's a different animal to play on that field, wouldn't you say? It's, re it's you know what, it's an experience that I, if everyone could have it, it would be, it's, it's, it's not life-changing, but it is life-changing. It is kind of life-changing, you know? right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Which is why it's so special that we get to have the finals of the Women's Open here on this field. And here we go. All right. Ball's in play. Game is underway. Let's see. Hazel Jackson's going to win the first. Whoop. Looks like we get a little, a little feeling good there for Cecily. <laughs> Coming out right now. It's going to be Hazel to hit this ball back up there to Mia. Mia picks it up and takes off running right down the middle. Shader in pursuit, but Mia, nothing but green between her and the goal. This one a little off to the left. Looks like a perfect approach shot. She'll come in and go ahead and send it straight on through. Pick up the first point of the day. Just 30 seconds in to chucker number one. Yeah, you can't leave her alone. She's not going to miss. Exactly right. Fantastic play right there from Jackson up to Cambiasso. Definitely need to get somebody. Like, yeah, I think Megan needs to stay back. Uh, at all costs mm -hmm. against this team today. We'll see it one more time right here. Mia just sweeps over from left to right, picks up that ball. She's got everybody blown away. Well, there again, you know, nostalgia. She's one of just her dads. so smart, too, in, in her positioning on the field. She really is. It's incredible. Her, between her and Hazel, they play so well together. Jackson right here being pursued by Izzy. Can she get this next shot? She's going to go near side, tries to flip it back towards the goal. So leaves it on the field, though. Well done, Kylie, with the back shot here. Turns it back. Sophie Grant going to come in and be challenged right there. And now it's going to be Mia to turn the ball back around. Mia goes ahead, checks back. Now looking to get away from Kylie. Now Jackson goes with an open back shot right here. Well done. Good read by Pam Flanagan. Oh, nice try by Pam. So we'll get our first knock in the day going to Blue Water. Pam's been playing with a lot of confidence. I'm really impressed with her game. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. And, you know, she's so strong going to the, to the defender. Yeah. And not only that, you know, on, on defense, but on offense, she's amazing at making holes for her teammates. Here comes a great pass from Izzy down to Shader on the right-hand side. Shader need to go, go over to – yeah, we'll get a whistle here. See which way this one's going to go. Looks like they're going to go ahead and, and blow this one against Shader. Right here, I'd like to see her go back over to Hazel and let Hazel bring her back to the ball instead of staying straight on that right away. They're going to catch her for, yeah, it's going to go against, they're going to use dangerous use of the mallet against Megan Shader here. Penalty five from the spot. Okay. Jackson brings the ball into play. She's got Izzy going to go to her here on these set plays. Here's a short pass right there to Mia. Mia comes in with Kylie right there. Mia Cambiasso takes her shot. Now picked back up, turned back right here by Jackson. Hazel going to go ahead and run this one straight back on through. She takes her shot at the goal. Ooh, might be a long day at the office here for Blue Water. They've got to get a hold of these two. Yeah, they do. As quickly as possible. They need to be tighter on their man if they want to get anything done. Yeah. These girls are quick. They're super quick, super well-mounted, and the only way to stop a team when they're – as quick and well-mounted as this team is, is you have to get to them before they get to the ball. What is it you're always coached when you're younger is take them to the trailers? Take them to the trailers. <laughs> exactly right, yep. There's a, a slightly more graphic one my dad used to use when I was a kid, which I probably can't say on the air, but uh, <laughs> something about going to the bathroom and helping them out, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right now. Time out for equipment for Kylie. Looks like she's got it. Back together. Here we go. Ball's put back into play. Coming in. Jackson will pick up this ball and take it back around to her left. Now somebody needs to go with M Mia right now. Yeah. Uh, there's All right. There you go. There's Kylie. She's there. But Jackson comes in. Can't get away from those boards. We get another whistle. This one's going to go against Hawaii Polo Life. Yeah, Hazel just blew through there, though. That was... We'll see what our umpires decide. Uneven ride off is what they're going to call here against Jackson. So watch this. Watch the bottom of the screen right Oh, there. she got pushed in by Pam. Yeah, Pam pushed her in. And, but then, either way, penalty five awarded here to Blue Water. Izzy sends it off to the right. Kylie trying to get in there. Great play here. 
by Mia to take out Kylie. And then here's Hazel Jackson. She's going to turn it back. to Oh, nicely done. Great move right there. Hits a pass back up. Coming in for the defense, though, it's going to be Sophie. Sophie got the tail shot perfectly placed right there for Kylie to pick up. Now Sheehan is going to run this one back around. Does this one stay on the field? It looks like it does. Kylie takes the ball off the boards. Comes back to it again. Now she's going to get called off here by Grant. Sophie looking to get Cecily out of the way. Going to get a whistle here. Spot hit going in favor of Hawaii Pole of Life. Dangerous use of the mallet. I know. I tend to agree. To me, it looks like she doesn't clear. Yeah, at all. So. Didn't even make an attempt to clear, but. And then I know the, I know the girls are worried about the delay of game call, too, so. That's right. Yeah, that, that is true. But, you know, there hasn't been. They haven't had to. I mean, I haven't seen, but maybe once or twice called throughout the tournament. So. Right. Either way, here we go. It's going to be. Ooh. Oh, well done, Sophie. Little reverse neck shot right there. Nice. Izzy. And now coming back, it's going to be picked up again here by Jackson. She hits a tail shot to the center of the field. That's what I like to see. Coming back, though, Grant reads the play perfectly. She picks it up, and once Sophie gets out in front, if she gets away right here, she is great running to goal. Coming in, though, it's going to be a nice play there by Pan Flamingan with her tail shot. Hits it a little too straight because Kylie's able to pick it off. Then Jackson back on the ball. She will shoot at the goal from distance. Oh, Ooh, good try. Lucky. So second knock-in of the day to be awarded here to Blue Water. Seems like Blue Water, though, they're starting to get, they're starting to feel a little bit there. They might have, they might have, you know, come out a little bit slow, but I feel like they're starting to get their game back together now. First time they've played against Toy Polo Live. Uh, no. No, you're right. That's second right. They, you're right. They played them in the first game. I apologize. Yeah, true. They've done better and better each game. They and have. And, um... It's taken it's taken to get it's taken a little bit to get their sea well, legs, but they're first year this team has played. Yeah, yeah. Mia with the next shot. Kylie's going to come up with the play. Sheehan takes it back around. Well done, Kylie. That's the way she tries to check it down right there. Oh, don't leave it for Hazel. Yeah, <laughs> Hazel gets a back shot picked up right here by Pam Flanagan over the back line, and we're down to under a minute and a half left to go in the first shucker. They're definitely playing as a team. I mean, they're trying to shut them down. Yes. This is a team to be, this is a force to be reckoned with. These, Absolutely. These girls are very organized. All right. Parsons, and that's one thing I love about watching Izzy play, being field side, is listening to her coach her team while she's playing. She's hitting the ball. She's thinking about where her players are. She's thinking for herself and her players, and it's a lot of fun to watch. She's super positive on the field. I've played with her. I played her the first two years that the U.S. Open came to Florida. Really? Um, we made. We got to the the semifinals. Okay. <laughs> Hazel takes it forward right here. Then using both hands shuts it down. I like that. Jackson tries to get away from Shader right here. Oh, well, here we go. Jackson gonna run back to the left. Umpire gives that gives her a little <laughs> help right there. <laughs> Pass down to Mia, but it's well gonna done. be a nice play by Sheehan with a back shot. Shader there, got a piece of it. Megan hits her back shot. Hazel comes in, takes it off to the right, and we will get a whistle here. And it looks like we'll have a penalty number two, but I think, I don't think we've quite made it. I think we've got like one second left to go until the warning horn. Yeah, they're going to call it right away on. Let's see. Is that on Megan? Well, they say on Izzy here, but uh, they might have put the right, the wrong information there. Either way, penalty number two is awarded here to White Pole Life. I have to say, two big back hitters on the Blue Water team are Sophie and Megan. When they get a handle on it, yes, it's impressive. Yeah, Sophie, you know, I've seen her play uh, indoor quite a bit. Yeah. But uh, I think this is the first time I've been able to see her play outdoor. And, man, she can really hit the ball. Hazel Jackson winds up, sends it straight on through, picks up the point, makes the score 3-0. That and makes her 100% on her penalty two still in this tournament. All right. 
Well, that's going to do it for the first chucker of play. We're going to go to a commercial break. We'll come back and start the second chucker with a throw in back in the center of the field. You're watching the Women's U.S. Open only on Global Polo TV. My name is Chris Johnson, owner of the Eastern Hay Corp. We primarily are nutritionalists, but we produce forage for the equine industry. Clients are important to us because we're trying to educate them on their nutritional requirements for their animals. I've been a client of Easton Hayes for the last 20 years. Most memorable story about dealing with Easton Hay is I had an older horse who was thin, and Chris Johnson hooked me up with the nutritionist that they deal with, and we changed both the hay and the grain that she prospered after that. Come join us at Palm City Polo, where we have fun, family-oriented polo. Even if you've never ridden a horse, we teach you from the ground up. We play arenas every Thursday afternoon and Saturday mornings. No horse, no problem. We supply it all at Palm City Polo. Whether you want to learn to play polo or play fun, safe, competitive polo, Palm City Polo is your place. Located 10 minutes from the heart of Wellington. We have a hidden gem that most people have never seen. I actually went out and saw a game and fell in love with the, uh, the horses and the excitement. And frankly, I've never played golf again. Four goal, 10 goal, 14 goal, doesn't matter. It's probably the most competitive polo that I've ever played in this country. Really, Houston has something for everyone at every level. You can be at a polo game on Sunday afternoon, see polo for your first time, and on Monday morning, be on a horse with friends on Welcome back, everyone, to Global Polo TV. We are getting ready to start chucker number two here of the finals of the Women's U.S. Open Polo Championship presented by Eastern Hay and Icon Source, benefiting Susan G. Komen Foundation. we got our second chucker. Horse list coming up here. Cecilia, let's pick out a couple. Well, we can see Jordy right there, who is, uh, um, what is Jordy? Jordy is out of Cello and Josie. Um, famous horse. He's a stud in the J5 program. Mm -hmm. um, according to Pam, there are many, they have quite a few babies on the ground now. Um, this horse has just shown up time and time again. He's awesome. Yeah, this is, yeah, the, the stallion. Um, Mia's playing Bionica here. This is one that's being played by her brother in the gauntlet right now. <laughs> How awesome is that? Is that the David Par that's the David Paradise horse, right? No, no, no. No, that's no? Uh, no this is one that uh, Perotto's playing. Right, but does David own it, or is it? Uh, I don't know if David does or not. I think Bionica. Maybe I, I probably, I'm maybe not. But then, uh, and then, and then. I like how they have Sophie Grant. She's got her hers split up into, you know, two chuckers. She's playing two horses a chucker. Oh, that's cool. Pucho. And Pucho is a sapo cassette horse, right? Yep, that's right. All right. Oh, I love this gray that Izzy's on. Ooh, I love this gray. Blanca. Yeah. I just love the way it's... The, uh, yeah, she gets a lot done on this horse. Yeah. You're right. All right, here we go. Ball's in play. And look, just here as we we're saying our praises, she's going <laughs> to take advantage of having the offensive side. Takes off running right here. Oh, yeah, nicely done. Near side, next shot to the goal. What a shot! Gets it back. Right now, one of her teammates has to be the second, the next player there, but it's going to be Mia Kambi also to come up with the ball. She decides to take it with her. Didn't see. Hey, hey let's see. Here goes Mia. She's going to get away from those defenders. Now take, coming in to take the play is going to be Pam Flanagan. Flanagan comes in. She goes near side right here. Nicely done. Mia gets back to the ball. Kylie Sheehan right there. Mia delivers this one, but well done. Look who's there. It's going to be Sophie. Oh, Sophie doesn't connect on her back shot. We're going to get a whistle right here. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. On a right-of-way violation, I'm thinking. On, uh, that was Pam coming across uh, Kylie, I think, right? I believe so. We'll see the replay. Yep. On, yep. Kylie had the right-of-way. Flanagan came from left to right. Oh, well, oh, here we you'll go. see right here. Yeah, see yeah. there, yeah. All right, penalty five. Right now, 
Mia is going to recover this play. Bionica. Mia Cambiasso. Oh, well done. Sophie Grant tries to get in there, make a play. She can't quite do so. Kylie makes a hook. But the ball will be recovered now by Hazel Jackson with the shot back. Oh, man. Right here. Somebody's got to be on Mia all day long. Cannot let her get out in front like this. Here goes Cambiasso from left to right. Oh, they get lucky right there. Now it's going to be Izzy Parsons with a back shot. Now Kylie got a neck shot on it. Picked up, though, by Jackson once again. Hazel looking for a place to go. She's going to go ahead and try to run along the back line here. She gets hooked, though, by Kylie. Nicely done. Well done, Cecily. Cecily, nice little play right there. Picked off by, all right, by Kylie. And then here comes the shot at the goal. Nicely done. Knocking that ball down, I should say. Well done. Good job. So Sophie. Oof. But gets hooked. Now, here coming comes, in, going to be comes. stolen back away right here by <laughs> Izzy. Let's see. Megan Shader comes in. Now, Sophie Grant waits right there with the ball. She's going to take it with her. Sophie reaching back. Sophie still working to get that ball going. There she goes. Well done. Sophie pumps it out there, and it's going to be picked up here now by, whoa. Where is it? Izzy. There it is. With Mia. Mia wins the ride-off. Hits a little back shot. Who's going to read this play? Cecily gets a piece of it there, but it's going to be picked off here by Kylie. Kylie hit it a little too far. Great play right there by Cecily to take out Kylie. And then Mia turns the ball. Here comes. Uh, let's see. Shader coming in there. Now she takes a shot. Mia with the ball. Stolen by Izzy Parsons, though. Oh, Izzy. Interesting. Turns back around right here. Parsons digs it out and then goes ahead, sends it down the right-hand side. She gets taken out right here by Pam. Well done, Pam Flanagan. But Izzy gets away from her. That's yeah, there we horse. go. <laughs> That's straight that horse. horse, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, ball gets picked back up, turned back around right here by Hazel Jackson. Jackson goes to send this ball off. Can't quite get it done. Great pickup right here by Flanagan. There she goes. Pam out in front. And if you don't stop her, Pam is totally capable of hurting you. Well done, Pam. That's the way. She shuts down. See, she's got space and time. Let's the ball settle. Needs to make this one count. Izzy needs to get there. Flanagan from the 40. What a great run and goal. Beautifully done, Pam Flanagan. That was an amazing goal by Pam, and I love the fact that she's looking back over her shoulder. See, she's got the time, so instead of continuing to accelerate, she shuts it down, lets the ball settle, and makes it count. Goal lasso. All right. Let's see. Well done, Pam. Just taking her time. I mean, wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, great, great play right here. So Blue Water yet to find the scoreboard. Hopefully, they'll be able to get something going, though. Let's see. Here comes. Yeah, there you go. Good read right here by Grant. Sophie, once she gets out in front, she is great going to goal right here. This one gets away from her a little bit, and it's going to be picked off by Mia Cambiasso. Sophie comes back around to challenge her. Well done, Sophie Grant. Nice try. Well, looks like we're going to get... A oh. whistle right there. Oh. So if you got a little too overzealous, I feel like, and not the place she wanted. Yeah. I call that white ball fever. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a great. I might have to steal that. <laughs> I always say, you know, beach ball play there, but in uh, that one, I think you're right. Oh, it's the fever. It is the fever. Every polo player has it. Absolutely, <laughs> it's so true. Okay. You can see Sophie with her uh, her arena polo coming out. I mean, she's so quick to get around. It's yeah, she really is. It's good. All right, we've got some great comments coming in here on our on our on the on the app. But yeah, we'd love to hear from you if you're out there tuning in. Let us know where you're tuned in from. If you got any questions or comments, Celia and I will do our best to read them out as we have time throughout the game. These are great comments. Yeah. Um, that's true. Uh, Kylie, Megan, and Sophie came up in the II program in Maryland. And Megan and Kylie were under Cindy Halley. Yeah. And uh, Sophie was under Kelly Wells. So Thank pretty you, impressive. Thank you, Cindy, for sending that, that info out to us. We appreciate it. Here comes the shot. 
Look at this. Here we go. Cecily. Oh, nice try, Sess. Nice try. Going to be picked up here by Parsons. Here we go. Izzy. Izzy Parsons goes ahead and continues his drive. But look at that. Great ride off right there. Great read. Great pass, though. Picked up nicely here by Sophie Grant. Sophie can't keep it going, but it's going to be Kylie Sheehan to back her up. Sheehan from right to left. Kylie is tuned up, too, because she's been playing in the 16 goal. Oh, bad luck there for Megan. Izzy takes it forward right here. She's got Pam on her. And one thing about Pam, she will look straight to make a defensive play all day long. Won't even look at the ball. She'll go straight to the man. Now it's going to be right here. Oh, it's off to the right. Get there. Kylie Sheehan puts it over the... Oh, oh. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to get a whistle on this one. Nice. I don't blame her at all for taking the chance. Yeah, you know, you have either going to be a breakaway run or a knock-in, so why not? Right. Pam was an all-star player at uh, SMU when she was there. Makes sense. Okay. Penalty five. Hazel. Mia's going to go... Off to the right. She had running room to the left. Kylie staying right there with Jackson. Jackson hits it to the left. This is actually going to work out well for them because the ball will be picked up now by Mia. She flips it back around. Nice. Pam right there. Now going to be Izzy. Izzy taking this one back around. Parsons. Well done. Mia Cambiasso makes the hook and steals the ball, takes it forward. Great job right there by Pam Flanagan to take out Izzy. Now Kylie Sheen on that ball. Kylie, oh, oh even Hazel better play him. by Hazel. Jackson winds up, sends it back up, and once again, it looks like Mia's got a step on her man. She's out in front. She's going to go ahead and send this one straight towards the goal. Mia, open back shot right here to the goal. Oh, man, Kehugadora. What a beautiful goal. Absolutely. Izzy was fighting to get to her, but... Just didn't make it. You know, that's the thing, though. Mia, she's so smart. As soon as she sees Hazel has control of the ball, she's breaking. And not only has is, is she got her, her, her man outrun, she's got the inside of the field, too. So at that point, all Hazel has to do is get the ball in front of her, and she can pick it up near side, off side, whatever. Right here. You'll see. Watch the left-hand side of the screen. Right there. Beautiful play. It almost looked like Izzy hooked her, but... It did, didn't, didn't it? Didn't make a difference in her swing. Wow. All right. So it looks like the ball still be in the umpire's hand when the warning horn sounds. That's going to end. Chucker number two. Remember, we're playing five chuckers here today. Score stands 5-0. Blue Water yet to get on the board, but I feel like once they do, it's going to open the floodgates. We'll see a different game. Agreed. Stay with us. We'll be right back for our third chucker of play in just a few minutes right here on Global Polo TV. can. It's an equine mecca, really. Historically, Spokane has been known for producing some fantastic horses. If you're a professional and you're trying to make green horses, there's opportunities for them to get started. You know, green horse truckers, facilities, world-class field. It's just the perfect environment to produce a well-trained, competitive polo pony. My name is Cheryl Sick. I am the Pacific Northwest Circuit Governor. It's great because we've got a lot of teams, a lot of competition. You know, there's opportunities to get into local and medium goal tournaments. Spokane kind of offers all of those things at a very affordable price. We are a fantastic summer location, excellent fishing, hiking, mountain biking, ATV. You can play a practice in the morning and then head to the lake and wakeboard all afternoon. All the while just being five minutes from downtown Spokane. 
come out, bring your horses, bring your stock saddles, and uh, we'll have a hit around. Welcome back everyone to Global Polo TV, getting ready to start chucker number three. And I don't know about you, Celie, but I don't feel like, like Blue Water's playing that badly. It's just they have not been able to find the scoreboard yet. You know? Agreed. I feel like Hawaii Polo Life is really dominating the man, basically. Yes. And they're working, if you watch Hazel and, and uh, Mia, they're working so close together that they get the jump on Izzy or they get the jump on Kylie. Um, so Blue Water's got to really tighten up being on the man. And they're a very strong team. Mm -hmm. They really are. I mean, you have two coaches on, you know, from both teams that are incredible. You have, I think, Memo has possibly been helping Blue Water. And yeah. you have the legend, the GOAT, <laughs> Adolfo <laughs> yeah, really. Cambiasso on the other side. Oh, man, I love it, yeah. We got or maybe he didn't show up today, but I doubt it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I would imagine there. he's probably there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's check out our horse list real quick while we can. While we've got a minute here for our third chucker of play. Uh, Mini Falda, Mia, that's one that uh, is being played by, or I should say, David Paradise played this one in 2022 CV Whitney Cup final. So that's a great one there. J5, uh, let's see. Gatita, Pam's horse there. That's another one that's a small chestnut, white blaze, owned by J5, played by Pam in 2020 and 2021. What is it? U.S. Open Women's Pacific Coast Final. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Another great one there. All right, and then uh, Don Julio, Sophie Grant's horse. Is that actually a, an 11-year-old Joe Wayne Berry homebred by Jeff Hall's stud, Cochise. Interesting. I want to know who the, 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 the dam the, is. Yeah, me too. Joanne, right in. Yeah, really. Come <laughs> on, buddy. Then we've got some more awesome comments here coming in. Cindy Halley, you're one of my heroes. I love you. She says, great to have Cecilia's insight and experience adding commentary. I think that's 100% true. I agree. Thanks so much for being with us again here. Cecilia, I'm so happy to have you in studio with me. And fun fact about Cindy Halley is that she won USPA Woman of the Year. Um, I, maybe for was it 20 or 21? I can't remember which year, but yeah. well, like I she's said, an amazing coach and an amazing person, and works tirelessly. Yes, she really does. Yes, uh, Erica writes in. She says the level of of uh, women's polo has come so far. The organization, horses, everything is incredible. Sunny would be proud. And then Stormy writes in right after that. It says Stormy Hale is there in the crowd. Chris Curley says it's great to see how far this tournament has come since Sue Sally and Sunny first started it. Thank you guys for writing in. We really appreciate hearing from you. Erica Gandamkar should be pretty excited that three of her Denver Polo Club members are on the field today. There you go. And that exactly. would be Mia, Pam, and Cecily. Fantastic. And then a fourth right here in studio with me. As My I'm happy told. place. Your happy place. Denver Polo is. Oh, look at <laughs> Kylie. Go. Here we go, Kylie. There she goes. She's got this one. Gets turned back around. Kylie Sheehan gets away from Hazel. Leaves that one behind. Here comes Megan Shader to send the ball forward. Look at that. Well done, Kylie. Looking at him. Jackson right there, and then it's going to be stolen again here by Mia Cambiasso. Shader with her. Now Mia takes her wide. Let's, it comes back around to the right. Oh, can't get back to the ball, but it's Jackson there to send it back down the field right here. Here comes Parsons for the defense. She's going to take it with her. Izzy comes back around. Nicely done with Pam Flanagan right there on her hip. Here comes Mia with a back shot. First one to get turned will be... Shader, well nice done. Play, what a play. Picked up here on the near side nicely by Pam Flanagan. She continues to work on the near side. Pam shutting down. Leaves this ball right here. Mia leaves it too. And Jackson will pick up the play. Jackson hits it right back down there, looking where she's going to find Pam Flanagan. Great hook by Izzy. She can't get the ball picked back up. Here's a back shot. And picked up again by Jackson. Hazel. Working it down the right-hand side. Uh-oh, Mia was able to hold up two defenders right there and let Jackson move uncontested. Here comes the shot at the goal. Ooh, lucky break right there Just for wide. Blue Water. <laughs> move. Okay. All right. Both teams line up. Here comes. Oh. What do we have here? Is he going to make another approach? Here, 
Parsons brings the ball into play. She's going to have Kylie come in behind. I'd like to see. She needs someone to hit to. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't, I don't always like seeing somebody come in behind right there. I'd like to see him out, you know, get that ball moving. Now, oh. we get a whistle here. Right of way violation on Mia. Going against Mia, I should say. Let's see if we can spot it here on our replay. Ah, right there. So they're blowing a late whistle, it looks like. Penalty five from center. So Mia, more intimidation, I guess, than right of way is what you could call there. I, I did you see? So, no. Mia, when, when, <laughs> Sorry, so when like, Mia, what go happened? ahead. Did you guys run it again, real quick? That last foul, please. When you see when Mia, when she when she cocks back to hit that ball, she makes she makes Izzy look up. So instead of right away, it's actually more of a intimidation play. Oh, thing. right, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't worry, no, no, not no need to. Here comes Izzy. There you go, Izzy takes off down the left hand side. Parsons to get the first point of the day on the board. She hits it. It's off to the right. Here comes Kylie Sheehan. What a shot from Parsons, picked off though by Mia. Cambiasso turns it back around. She goes ahead and pumps that ball right back down. Well Good done, job, Kylie. Kylie Sheehan. A little tail shot here. Gonna be picked up by Pam Flanagan and now Parsons. Mia gets back to it right there. Mia keeps it away from Sophie Grant and now she goes taken off, but Kylie doesn't want to overcommit right here, but look at this. Look, somebody's gotta keep an eye on Jackson. When Mia's got the ball, you know where, the, where it's going. Jackson is there to take this one straight to the goal. Hazel coming in. Nicely done, Kylie. But Jackson, her shot is rolling, rolling. Oh, it was easy. And oh, good try. great goal right here for Mia Cambiasso. That's her third of the day, and she leads all scores now. Hazel just sets it up so perfectly. It's like she's aiming at the 30. Yeah. And, you know, it's like it's right in the middle, and... It's up to her to finish or the next person. But, but see right here, everybody's still looking at Pam, uh, at, uh, excuse me, at Mia, Mia. And there's Jackson. She's already breaking for the pass. Somebody's got to be on her. And look at that. It's right at the 30. Boom. You're right. Yeah. Perfect place to leave it. You know, it's. <laughs> Celia was saying to me uh, during the break there, she's saying, oh, I wish I could call them and tell them they got to mark up. <laughs> 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 it's so true. It's tough, though. I tell you what. Sometimes you get mesmerized by the work that they're doing with the ball. Right. That you, you know, it's like her dad too. It's like me, his dad. You know, when he's got the ball, or Peroto's got the ball. How many times you get people just watching? Yeah. Forgetting they're playing against him. Well, because you have the best seat in the house. Exactly. I mean, right. You can't help it. Well done, Kylie. She comes in. Cecily, right there. Now, Kylie will go ahead and get backed up by Parsons. Izzy, here we go. Izzy. Working this one back from left to right. Drops that ball back to Megan Shader. Shader gets some help from the horse. That's, I was about to say, good job oh, good right job there. Soph. Sophie. Here comes Mia. Goes to break with there. Uh-oh. This might work out right here for... Oh, we will get a whistle on this play, and it looks like we're going to get a... Did Sophie get it? Yep, she got it. Penalty two coming. Hard to see because we're looking straight down from the drone right there, but... I love the drone footage. Isn't that though. amazing? It's it's such a great way to see it all happen. It really is. It gives you a, a totally, you know, different perspective on the game. Yeah, because sitting on the sidelines, we are all, you know, commenting and yelling and screaming and whistling that it's a foul, and then you see the drone footage and it's not. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was quite a bump. All right, penalty two. Yeah. Oh, that's such a nice. Izzy Parsons is also 100% on her penalty, too. So. Oh. No, I didn't jinx it. Yeah, we don't say that. You don't say that till after they hit the shot. This is from past games. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This has nothing to do with today. Cody and I. <laughs> Great. Good catch. Good save right there. All right, here we go. Izzy finding the ground right now with her mallet. She'll ride up and Beautiful. get her team on the board. Well I mean, done. Perfect shot. Perfect See? shot. Still 100%. Let me say, if it was Cody or I, it, that would have been wide. You know, for sure. I was going to say, you get a million phone calls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well done. Good job. All right. Beautiful so. shot. 
these girls, the way they hit their penalties, I mean, the fours, the threes, the twos, they get so much air on them. Yeah. I mean, Hope, Leah, yeah. Nina, phenomenal um, penalty shooters. Yeah, Hazel. Yeah, no, they're, they're great. They really are. Now, ball's back into play. Look at this. Here we go. Going to be a nice ride off right there. Izzy picks up the right of way. She's going to leave it there for Megan Shader. Shader sends it back on down. Looking here for Kylie Sheehan. Kylie gets there. Kylie with Pam Flanagan. Oh, oh good man. Try. That was a great, great run. Woo. Very nice try. It's getting exciting. Yeah, it is, right? The scoreboard does not do the game justice. I'll no, say that. You not know? at all. Okay. Here we go. It's going to be Hazel to bring the ball into play. Kylie gets nice there. Nice steal, Kylie. Yeah, I think they got her, though. <laughs> Yeah, you see her horse kind of yeah. kind of run sideways to the left right there. So she might have, might have given her a false sense that she was clear. Yeah, but that's an Im intimidating position to be in when. Yeah. Oh. All right, penalty five from center will be awarded here to Hawaii. Good uh, effort on Kylie's part. Absolutely. You know? I mean, What's the other thing they say? If you're not fouling, you're not trying. Exactly right. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Carolyn Stimmel writes in. She says, great commentating. Uh, you are doing an awesome job. Celia is just what Team Toby needs today. Love all the horse info. Keep coming our way watching in Texas. Thanks so much to Carolyn Stimmel. We really appreciate hearing from you. Thank you. Here we go. Ball brought back into play by Hazel. She goes with a little bit of speed right here, then sends it back down the middle where she's not going to find one of her offensive players. Great play there. Great hook by Parsons, and she'll take the ball with her. Izzy seems like she's getting a little bit more comfortable now after they get that one point on the board. Turns it back to the inside, then she'll break back to the right right here. Beautiful play. Great ride off right there. W awesome read by Pam. And now Mia picks up the ball and takes it with her. Here comes... Sophie Grant trying to get in there to make a play on Mia. Mia just goes ahead, pulls it away, hits the ball back behind, sends it back down. Here comes Shader for the defense. Shader with a near side back shot setting up. Parsons Beautiful. right here. Can she get there? Woo. Ooh. That was close. Yeah, Izzy back to the ball. She shuts it down right here with Mia Cambiasso comes in to put her in the pocket. Izzy going to leave this one right here. Oh, for Shader. Maybe a bit of miscommunication, but they make it work. Nice move that horse made for Megan right there to get back to it. Shader lets the ball follow. Now Izzy will come back behind her. Now Megan's going to drop that ball. And look at Pam coming back with Izzy. Smart play by Pam Flanagan. Did it go out? I think so. Looks like this one is going to. Well, let's see. I think that might go ahead and end the chucker. Uh, I think you're right. Yep. I have to say, the way these women stop and turn the ball, it's pretty impressive. I mean, I, I've been watching you know, over the years, and every year this tournament gets better and better, and then watching Hope and Izzy play in Argentina, mm -hmm. in the Argentine Women's Open, with uh, Mili Sanchez and Fatima Balsano is just so cool to watch those games, and even watching Hope Ariano and how her game has, she was already amazing when she went to Argentina, and then how it changed, Yes. and she's even better, she's, she's a unicorn. She really is. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, we'll go to a quick commercial break. We'll come back here and uh, let's do some more talking. Love to hear your thoughts on everything. So you're watching Global Polo TV. We'll be right back for a quick halftime, at least as far as commercial breaks go. And we'll continue this game. This club is one of the most welcoming, friendly, but yet competitive polo clubs. We're all here for the love of the sport and the love of the lifestyle. This is the most fun you can have on a horse. We have several different levels. We play minus two to 20 goals. So if you don't have your own horse, we have club horses that you can use. The fields here are incredible. We've got three great grass facilities. And in the fall and the spring, we can play arena. We do a bunch of events during the summer. And our idea behind that is to promote polo, is to again, bring polo to the masses. And this past year, we hosted the Rocky Mountain Polo Festival. Every single person that I've seen at practice in tournament is just having a great time. It's a great group of people. 
Everybody and anybody is welcome at the Denver Polo Club. Every two minutes, a woman in the U.S. is diagnosed with breast cancer. And that's why when others look away, we lean in. We're fighting alongside patients because we know one moment can change everything. With your help, more moments of hope are possible. Join our fight. Save lives. We made the plan to start the polo school uh, for the 2018 season. Myself and Nacho Cabrera uh, have been with it from the start. We had 12 horses the first year, 16 horses last year. We've grown the operation to 22 horses. We offer lessons to everyone at the International Polo School, whether you've never ridden a horse or whether you're an experienced rider and you're looking to try a new discipline. We now offer coaching leagues, four goal polo and eight goal polo. We have Tuesday and Thursday practices in addition to games, which we included in monthly greens fees. What we've really been successful in creating here is a fun social atmosphere where people can compete with each other on the field and then when they're off the field, they're friends. We have 67 stalls at the Isla Carroll property. So whether you're looking to bring down your string of four horses or you're looking for 20 horses for you and your pro, we have the ability to cater to anyone. It's a beautiful place to be at Isla Carroll. We include turnout uh, when you lease stalls. We have a, an amazing area for asados. And then we also offer seven days a week access to the stick and ball field, which is a full length regulation field, which I believe really sets us apart from other clubs in uh, South Florida as well as the country. I drove up to Santa Barbara, and if you ever come here, there are these hedges in front of the club. You really have no idea if it's here or what it's about. And then somebody invited me to come inside of those hedges. And when I came in, I saw these fields and this you know, clubhouse, and then I, I, I watched my first game, and I couldn't believe the speed. Sundays are very elegant, very fun. A lot of people coming out, some great, great polo. Watch polo every time I get an opportunity to, and I wanted to try the Polo Academy here. I feel safe, I trust them, so I decided to get on a horse and do it for myself. A lot of people say that you need to ride, you don't. Well within anybody's means to play polo. Arena, outdoor, there's all levels of polo. I enjoy every moment here. The horses love it, they love the breeze. We've got great horses, great players. The tournaments are well organized. I'll go to the beach for a while. Maybe paddleboard, not much more you can ask for. The people that you're playing against today, you're playing with tomorrow. Our kids all play together. We all kind of act as a family together. We're all looking out for one another. Here at the club, um, they offer several different membership levels, and I think that's what's so special. You could be a social member out here for one of the parties. You can be a polo member and play tennis. We've got a great pool. We're all kind of here in the summer trying to enjoy ourselves and have a great summer and build a community and uh, be competitive. And the polo is really good. We want to promote people coming in an atmosphere that 
feel of the beach and you get the restaurants in Santa Barbara and then the wine in San Inez, there's just a lot to do here in the summer and um, the weather's perfect. It's a family and anyone can be here, anyone can play, anyone can come out. It's a great club. There are very few polo clubs that I know of in the country that are like that. You just have to get beyond the hedges. I play polo all around the world, but uh, Wyoming is one of my favorite places to be in the summer. The way we play here, you know, makes, makes the polo really fun for everybody. These fields are amazing. I don't think you can see any, any field like this in, in the summertime. Any level of polo can be played on them. It's just one of the better programs in the country for sure. You know, I can't, I can't think of another program that would compare to, compare to the Flying Age. It's a great country for, for green horses and breed. You can play greener horses, everybody is going to respect you. This part of the world is probably the best ever for raising horses. It's all the same in building a happy, competitive polo pony. And the weather is, is amazing. It's just a beautiful country out there with no shortage of things to do. This will be the best place you're going to find for the summer, surrounded by the best people. Welcome back, everyone, to Global Polo TV. We are getting ready to start chucker number four here, four of five. Remember, we're playing five chuckers. I'm Toby Wayman. Join with me once again, our very special guest co-commentator today, Cecilia Cochran. Cecilia, thank you so much. I have kind of a fun exercise here that I waited till now to tell you about. I'd like you to go ahead and put yourself, say you're down there right now for both teams and you're coaching each team. What are you telling these ladies to do right now at halftime? I would tell the Hawaii Polo Life to not change a thing. Yep. Um, but beware because the other team is going to come out swinging. Yep, and I would tell lose. the Blue Water team that they need to go first to the man and then to the ball. Absolutely. Be more disciplined. Be tighter with the man. They still have a chance here. They do. Um, they just, they really need to be disciplined. This is... You know, the other thing about, you know, that, that sounds easily enough. Man first, then ball, right? But here's the other thing. It's hard. It's very hard. It, you know, but if you want the ball, like my, my, my dad always told me as a kid, if you want the ball, go to the best player on the other team and they will take you to the ball. 100%. And that's the same thing we see right and here. And you never want to believe that, but, yeah, it's, but it's totally so true. true. Yeah, it makes me so angry to this day that he's so right about that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Well, the uh, Jamaicans are here. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, Cecily's actually coached by Jason Waits, who is from Jamaica. That's right. He plays and for you, right? Yes, and his father is uh, runs the polo school at Denver Polo Club um, at oh. Erica Ganim Cars. Very cool. There's a big Jamaican contingent out there, so it's a pretty fun place. Yeah, Leslie Fung Yi, uh, she writes in. She was the first one to comment in today on the, on the broadcast. She said, hi, Toby and Seely. Seely, one of the longtime supporters of women's polo all over the world. Very nice compliment. Well, she, she started with, I started with Leslie. Did you really? In women's polo. I think my first tournament... My first real tournament at Naked Polos with her, and boy, was I, I scared. That's cool. <laughs> and you know, it's funny, I remember seeing Erica Gandam car there with her beautiful hair and her nails, and I was like, <laughs> oh, piece of cake. Yeah, no problem. She schooled us. <laughs> Woo, did she school us. Never again, will I assume. Boy, I tell you what, the first time I saw Erica play, she, she blew me away. I was like, oh my goodness, this woman can play polo She's now. amazing. Yeah, and I mean, has no fear, goes in there, she'll hit you. I mean, you know, as a, as a guy... I'm glad I didn't ever have to. I never had to play against her. Let's put it that She's way. She's a great anchor on a team. We're actually sending uh, a team to Argentina in April for the World Polo, um, the the World Cup of uh, Women's Polo. It's FIP. Great. And it is Erica Ganim Card, Jenna Davis, Audrey Persano, and Lily Lacarica. Nice. So, 
Should be pretty fun. Well, it's a 16 yeah, it goal women's tournament. There's six nations going. Fantastic. Pretty exciting. That's really cool. Well, yeah. she's going to be a great anchor for that I team. I think so, yeah. too. Um, we also, we've got some more really fun facts here, too, don't we? Um, we got all sorts of stuff. I mean, um, I know that Cecily and I have something in common yes here, Yes, you do. Mutton busters. Yep. So Cecily won uh, first place in kindergarten. That's how she started riding, was riding a sheep. Right. And you. Right. I was the uh, mutton busting <laughs> champion of the state of California in 1989. <laughs> I still have the buckle to prove it. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we have all sorts of fun things. Uh, Hazel Jackson's first horses were uh, Bambi and a little dun named Tiny. Bambi. She said her mom used to take her riding until she would fall asleep. That's awesome. Isn't that sweet? That is such I a cool, that. wow. I love to hear that. That's really neat. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, Izzy Parsons was two goals mixed at the age of 18. She's getting married at the end of April. She is. Congratulations. She is, and she lives in Kenya. I did know that. Yeah, that's really cool. She was telling me they can field a 22-goal women's team in Kenya. That's how good their women are. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised we don't see a bigger representation. Well, Tiva Gross came a few years ago, but then she got in a bad car accident, and so oh. she rehabbed from that. But now she's been playing in Kenya, in South Africa, in Plettenberg Bay, and she is phenomenal at six goals. That's awesome. I love to hear that. And... Um, but while we've got a minute here, let's go ahead and check out our, our, our fourth chucker horse list here. We've got Hazel. Hazel going to be coming out on uh, J5 Millenaria. It's a really nice horse here that she's got. <laughs> you think? Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. We'll, watch, Ooh, we'll see some good Cecily stuff Cecily is on one of my all-time favorite horses from Dardo, Cumbia. Cumbia. She is just such a wonderful horse. I love that horse. And is that Shusha? That Mia's on? Looks like it. I love that. That's a good horse. I love that show. Do you remember that show? No. Shusha. It was a Brazilian, like a kid's show. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it's a great show. All um, right. Oh, Sophie's splitting Pucho again. Yeah. From uh, Sapo. And Izzy's on all Magrini horses. And I think she's on two from Tonkawa. That's right. Well. You were saying that, yeah, that she, got, uh, she, was lo she was loaned a couple from Tonkawa yeah. today. And, and then I, I like Kylie's horse's name, Ardesia, which means squirrel. That's a good name. <laughs> it's a great name. Kind of like really Larry. Is. Yeah, I like Larry. Larry right? too. Yeah. Larry's Larry and a squirrel. Beast. <laughs> Larry looked good out there. All right. Great. Well, here we go. Both teams coming back out. Like, like you know, you pointed it out before we went to break. Um, the, the, this Blue Water team is not out of this game by any means. As a matter of fact, we saw in one of the preliminary games, uh, it was actually, it was um, BTA the Villages going up against the G-string team, right. G-string went in with a, with a five-goal lead in the last chucker, eight to three, and they actually ended up going back, going into overtime, and, and then winning ultimately it, winning, but, but I still, mean, What yeah. a chucker to come back. So it's totally possible here. Don't, you don't, we don't want to count out Blue Water at all, especially since I felt like, you know, tell me what you think here, but I felt like, you know, especially after Izzy got that first point on the board, it's mm -hmm. like she's like, okay, it's not going to be a shutout. Let's she relaxed, this. and so I think we're going to see a different kind of a game here. We're going to start the shucker off with a possession play, giving up in favor of Hawaii Polo Life. Here comes Jackson. She doesn't connect the way she wants, and oh, Kylie gets nice. back around, but she goes right to the man and leaves the ball there for Izzy. Nicely done right here. Kylie, though, oh, she needs to get on the other side. Can Kylie push Jackson over the ball right here? She sure does. Uh -huh. Makes the neutral play. Great play right there by Kylie. Here comes Parsons. She's going to take it to the goal. She gets hooked. Next one to get there, Sophie Grant coming in. Shader oh. tries to get to it. Somebody lost their mallet. Here comes. Uh oh, oh, watch out. Got to get there quicker because here goes Hazel Jackson. She is gone on a total breakaway right here. Oh, nasty bounce. Now, a lucky play here for Kylie Sheehan. Kylie comes in. She's going to lay a hook right there on Jackson, but Jackson's able to get the ball picked up anyway. Here comes Izzy Parsons, she takes it around on her near side. Yeah, nice Izzy dig out. Izzy is awesome on the near side. She really is. And on the bounce, she's in the zone right now. She's going to hit this one. Doesn't quite connect the way she wants. Cecily. Cecily got there, but uh, didn't connect. Now, my favorite Shader, horse. here you go. Nice move right here. It's going to be Flanagan. Near side neck shot right there to change it right away. But it's picked up again by Mia Cambiasso coming in. Kylie Sheehan gets her back shot off there for Parsons. Back shot here from Cambiasso. Now, oh, Megan, Izzy, well done. I thought she was going to call Shader off right there, but she's going to go ahead and take it right here. Now, trying to tap this ball as she will check down. Great play there for Mia. Makes the back shot. There you go, Kylie. Way to follow up the play right here. She feeds it back up here to Sophie Grant. Grant shoots at the goal from distance. 
Near side neck shot attempt. Kylie's going to come back up with it. Oh, and Izzy cannot overcommit right there. She had to wait and see what happened. And here goes another great play right there from Mia. Back over to Jackson. Hazel gets to that ball at, near side, at the midfield mark. Next person to get to it. Well done. That's the way. Megan made sure she was the next one there. Doesn't quite connect the way she wants. Now it's going to be Mia Kamiyasu with the ball. There you go. Sophie going back. Izzy going back. Here comes Megan Shader. Ooh. She makes her back shot. Near side open style, but it's picked off right here. Hits a little too straight up and down the field there. Well done, Kylie. That's the way. Kylie gets a turn, gets another piece of that back shot. That's going to set up Sophie Grant. Sophie winds up and cuts this ball back down the left with Cecily in pursuit. Look at Cecily go. I'm so impressed. She's, she started playing two summers ago. That's it, huh? Two chuckers at a time. Wow, good for her. Here comes Kylie. There you go, Kylie. That's the way. Parsons gets in there with Flanagan. Parsons gets out of there but puts the ball over the boards. We get a whistle, too. I feel like Blue Water needs to settle a little bit. Yeah. Because once they get the rhythm, they're phenomenal. Yeah, they're going to blow this one on Izzy, a right of way right here. I don't oh. think she could come back and watch. You'll see right here with. Yeah, Kylie was there. Yeah, with, with uh, Pam Flanagan's going to get on this one right here. Pam's got this right away right there is where they're going to get it. Gotcha. All right, so penalty five being awarded here. Hawaii Polo Life going to be well done, Cecily. There she goes from the 60. Parsons comes in and nice little ride off there. Now it's going to be taken here by Sh Shader. Megan Shader with a shot, but a nice tail shot right here. First one to read the play is going to be Parsons right here. She takes Boom. it. There you go, Izzy. Izzy going to let. Oh, yeah, well done. She keeps it off God, to the right solid. so that Pam can get. Yeah, bring her back to it. She can't keep the ball going, though. Now, Jackson comes in. Oh, nice try there by Sheehan. Well done, Izzy. Way to be there. But we get a whistle on the play. Looks like they're going to catch Blue Water again right here. I think it's going to be, yeah, on Kylie coming in hot right here. I believe they're going to say that Hazel Jackson had the right of way. You'll see right here, the ball kind of got, yeah. Ooh. Kylie would have had a near side play there at best, but she would have had to flatten out. In general, that would have been scary. Yeah. <laughs> so another five from the spot for Hawaii Polo Life. All right. Megan Shader off to the right, though. Needs to be close. Oh, somebody, she, she lost her mallet. That's some good sportsmanship right there. Super. And then... I love that Jackson that really waited nice. until the mallet was given back and then gives a pass. And here comes Cecily Coors. Go well Sess. done. You got it. All the way, Cecily. Right here. She's going to send this one. Cecily. She oh, got I'm so it. proud of her. That's Look awesome. Look at that. She's so <laughs> excited. <laughs> Congratulations. She's one of Cecily our baby Coors. birds. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is so stoked. I love it. Oh, I'm so pleased for her. Oh, congratulations, Cecily. What a great goal, too. Look at this run. And she knows this, uh, this is her goal shot right here. Watch this. She knows she's already got it going. She's already scored right here, but she's got to make sure. And then she's like, yes. <laughs> Good for you. All right. That's going to make her year. <laughs> Honestly, you know, even if, you're, even if you're a Blue Water player, you can't help but smile right there with how exactly. excited she was, you know? All right. Back shot right there. Izzy. From, oh, here comes Izzy. She's going to come back to the ball right here. She'll turn it back to the right. Looking for, some, for a pick there. Well, we get a whistle. Looks like they might catch Shader right here for... Yeah, Izzy looks not happy about this one. This is a bit of an unforced error here, really. Yeah, yeah. Pushing the player into the right of way is what they're calling it. That hurts. Right, yeah. Okay, penalty five. 
And once again from the spot here, it's dropped down right there in front of the goal. Here comes Megan. Well done, Megan. But Jackson jumps back on that ball. Hazel, is she going to go reverse neck? I think she is. Ooh, nice what shot. a shot at the goal. Oh, oh nice, nice shot, try. though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fifth uh, knock-in of the day to go in favor of Blue Water. I like it when the shots are fancy. I do, too. I mean, why not? Men's, women's, whatever. Exactly. I just think it's cool to watch. All right. I like this horse, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's all right. Kylie's There's coming Kylie. behind her. Kylie's going to keep it going right here. Sheehan going to get through the hook of Pam Flanagan. Sheehan avoids the hook again, but puts the ball into the boards, and it's going to be a whistle right here going against Pam. So this one should move it down, I would imagine. Could be going to a goal shot penalty. depending on where they are on the field here. They halfway? They're pretty close to halfway. Yeah, they're about just 30 yards short of halfway. Yep, penalty four. All right, here we go. You know, another thing that I've noticed here where, where, where Hawaii Polo Life has really shown so bright today is every mistake it seems like that Blue Water has made Hawaii Pole Life immediately jumps all over it and then 100%. You know, puts Blue Waters back against the wall once yeah. again. Yeah. They're Whereas anticipating. Whereas on the flip side of that coin, Blue Water hadn't been able to capitalize as quickly and, and, and as, as aggressively, I think, on the mistakes that have been made by Hawaii Pole Life. Because both teams have made mistakes, right? Right, I mean, don't right. Don't get me wrong. No, I mean, Blue Water's in it. They, they need to get it through the they gotta, the they got to put them on the board. I mean, yeah, yeah they've, they've given up five missed goals already. If they, if they made the goals they shot at today, they'd be down by one right now. They've only had one knock-in, so. Wow. Yeah. Is he? Hits this one along the ground. It's stopped burner. right there by Jackson and Hazel. Good-looking horse. Oh, she Oof. didn't connect. Here comes Kylie Sheehan. Near side, open back shot, looking for Parsons right there, but it's going to be picked up by Mia Cambiasso. She can't get back to it. Cecily comes in. Cecily Coors. <laughs> now Parsons right there, goes ahead, takes Mia. Mia gets back to the ball. There's the shot. Here comes Pam Flanagan, and a nice back shot right there. Another back shot. Here comes, look oh. at that horse get around right there for Parsons, but it's going to be, Izzy. oh, Izzy comes in. We're going to get a whistle here. They're going to go with Dangerous Houston Mallet. Yep. On Izzy. See the open back shot right. Now right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bad luck. Penalty for it, and they're going to give a yellow card on this one, too. Oh, no. Because I think that's her second dangerous use of the mallet today. So instead of having a, a center hit, or excuse me, a spot hit, they're going to move this to a penalty five from the center on the yellow card assessment. So yellow against Izzy. Are we getting anything else coming the, in on the comment section here? Well, the thing that's so one of the nicest people we've ever met. Oh, so totally. for her to get a yellow card is <laughs> just yeah. It's it's just well, when she right. got her double yellow the other day. Oh my god! Yeah, couldn't believe it. I don't think she could believe it. Yeah, she couldn't. Yeah, you're right. Oh, they're gonna tee this one up. Looks like Kelly Ellis is writing in here. It says go Izzy. Matt, let's go Kylie. Supporting his teammate there. Mm -hmm. She's been playing. They've been playing together in the Wellington Polo Tour. Made it to both finals. They have. Right? They've been beat in both finals. Here comes Jackson. Hazel sends that ball down. Nicely done. Now, Blue Water's doing better nice being with their man here. Going to be Kylie trying to get there. She doesn't connect. Now it's going to be Jackson right here. And what do we have? It's going to be Kylie. She gets back to this ball. We've still, we're still playing. 
Kylie, and this one goes over the back line. That's going to stop the clock. Chucker number four. Whew, this is exciting polo. It is. So we're going to be coming back for our final chucker of regulation time, and we're going to start that fifth chucker off with a penalty number six awarded to Hawaii Polo Life. You're watching the Women's U.S. Open Polo Championship only on Global Polo TV. Fort Mock uh, was really you know, built and designed to be a place where, where polo players can come and collaborate and, and join together and share in the sport of polo. Whether you're a horse trainer, a polo professional, want to play competitive polo, or, or just play practices. So at Port Mayaka, you have sets going out in the morning, people getting their horses ready for polo, practices four days a week at 10.30 in the morning. You'll also see lots of people riding younger horses, trying to get those seasoned. You'll see people in the afternoons coming up to the pavilion, having lunch, hanging out. You have an important ingredient, which is the fields. The fields allow you to play a certain way. It opens up the game, and they certainly have incredible fields. When you get out to Port Mayaka, you just like, Wow, this is beautiful. In South Florida, it's a horse heaven. If you want to have more fun than you've ever had in your life, come to Jackson Hole. You can have fun. 24 hours a day until you drop. Yeah, it's pretty high goal over here. It's a portrait, it doesn't matter where you look. But we do polo, people come and learn with me through the week. And I take people out in the afternoon. River rafting, the motorboat on the lake. Just a super place to be. I like to say you come here for the polo, you stay for the fun. Jackson Hole has so much to offer besides the green grass of polo. The rule is that you will never win every polo game, but you will never lose a party. All right, welcome back. Looking to get our final chucker underway here of regulation time. And we've got some great comments and stuff coming in. Actually, real quick, Tom Goodspeed reached out to him. He says, Pam Flanagan started at Culver Academies back in 07 when I was coaching there and then was part of our SMU varsity women's team 2011 through 14. That's so cool to hear. Well, Tom, you know, one of the best. Yeah. I mean, nine Arena goals Polo. indoors. I mean, yeah, what a great guy. Played with uh, Herman Louis DeCoit and... Um, Oh my God, help me. I'm having a total brain uh, fart. I do it all the time, don't worry. <laughs> um, in what, what in the saying? LA All-Stars. They, oh. they had that team, and it's South African. Oh my God. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, they had the LA All-Stars. They were, they nobody could beat them, right? I've yeah. heard amazing stories about that. I love it, yeah. Um, well, while we come back here, why don't we go ahead and check out our final chucker horse list. Because we've got some coming back here. Cecily's on another bingo from Dardo. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Ooh, Dolphina Nostalgia. That's yeah. got to be a good one. Yeah, that's one of Adolfo's. He's playing in the gauntlet, 11-year-old Bay Mare. Uh, Can you imagine? I can't imagine what it would be like to ride a horse like that. Oh, man. I can't I know, imagine. right? Adelina for Izzy. Open. Cheese day. I mean, the horsepower today is just awesome. Oh, it's incredible. Awesome. Yeah. I tell you, I saw in the in the uh, in the semifinals this blue or the uh, Hawaii Polo Life team. One of the the best goals I've seen in any in mixed polo, women's polo, whatever doesn't matter in years. By Hazel Jackson, uh, she had she was going with running to goal towards the north end of the field uh, on Valiente Field One, and the ball was rolling over the back line to the left, and she had Hope Ariano riding her off she shuts down as she rode past the ball she missed the ball she rode past the ball she stops hope goes flying past her and hopes on a great horse anyway she rolls right up to her she takes it and she taps it twice underneath the neck and then just flips it into the goal oh, I, gosh. That's such amazing. an incredible horsepower move right there Ooh, is he on the run here we go all right so i thought we were going to start that one off with a uh a penalty f a six but it's not it's just a knock in here so now it's 
Oh, Izzy didn't want to foul right there, so she didn't take a swing at the ball. Very smart play on her part to not give up an open goal penalty right there. Now she's going to come back to it right here. Trying to get her horse to jump out, but it's, she's mad on the play there by Mia. And then takes it back with her. Parsons trying to get her back off the wall right now as she is going to go and take this one down to the boards. Oh, bad luck. Blue Water would have no luck at all today. I mean, Izzy is a force to be reckoned with on she this field. She is. She's everywhere. But that's, you know, that's the, uh, uh, that's, that's the thing. Like, she's, she's having to do, to do so much work that doing it so much defensively, she's having trouble getting her You know, I, I, I would really love to see everybody. Look at this. What a shot. Oh, no way. What can you do? That was from inside the 60, too. Wow. Well, they moved it back right. to the 60, you know? Well, don't you get, it's the one hit if it goes out. Right, correct. Right. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. So, great goal right there by up to 19, I believe. Uh, more than that. Wait, how many? I don't know how many she's That's her third of the day. Okay, yeah, yes. Look at that. Boom. What a, what shot. a shot. Wow. When I grow up, I want to hit like that. Me too. <laughs> 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 All right, both. Again, here we go. Ball's put back into play. It's going to be picked up right here. There you go. Oh, Kylie tries to make a play on the ball. She can't quite do so. Here's Pam Flanagan with an open back shot. Another one there from Jackson. And Izzy back on that ball. God, Izzy on the near side is just She's, awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, she looks like uh, like an Ariana one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> near side back shot. Look at this horse. Izzy didn't want to foul right there, so she goes straight over to Jackson. She's going to leave the ball here for Kylie to go collect. I like to see Kylie. She goes... Hurries to the ball, then shuts down and takes her time once she gets there. Very well done. Kylie takes it back around to the outside, but here comes Mia with a back shot. Picked off right here, and now it's going to be Parsons flips it forward on her near side. Jackson breaks up the play, and then Kylie will take it around to the left. Kylie using up a lot of field right here to get this one turned right here. Kylie continues to drive. Now she's going to leave it here, and it'll be good play here by... Parsons, she takes it back around. There you go. Look at that. Oh, nice hook, though. By Coming in, Kylie gets back to it once again right here. She's going to be clean right there. Kylie Sheehan out in front on a run right now. Nicely done, Kylie. She drops it down right at midfield. She will continue this great approach right here. Hazel going to pull up and let her go. Oh. Hazel takes it further in. Hits her back shot. Izzy gets there. And Parsons picked up, stolen away though, and here comes a wow! Back what a shot, shot from Grant. Kylie Kylie's gonna get it. there. Oh, Kylie, take your time. Parsons right here. Izzy, and she got the call. She'll pick up a whistle right away. Violation. Kylie's so calm and settled when she plays. Have you noticed that? Yeah, she I do. She doesn't rush. She never rushes exactly. I respect that. I would like to see her, especially on these goal shots, though. I feel like she she's might be sitting down a little bit, too. I'd like to see her, go when she goes to hit those half shots, up a little bit more out of the saddle, you know, up well, by the horse. Their last, their semifinal game, she was crushing right in awesome. front of the goal. Just yeah. big half swing. Um, she's just so settled and calm, which... I, I agree with you. I, she I, never looks rattled. No. And that's, like, the biggest thing that's so hard is to not panic <laughs> it's so true yeah it's so true you're right exactly yeah. beautiful well done Kylie nice well you know another interesting fact here Cecilia is for the past four years Hawaii Polo Life has been in the finals for the past four years and this is going to be their third out of four years winning right right and they they got beat last year by BTA from behind victory there. Right. That Kylie was on that team. At Kylie's, this is her third final. That's right. And she was MVP last year. And deserved it too. Oh yeah. All right, well done. Izzy Parsons right here, winning the throw in. Takes off running. Parsons out in front. Nicely done. Take your time right here, Izzy. She's going to, oh, what a play. Parsons. Wow. Oh Go yeah. Lasso. Kay oh my Huga God, Dora. that's awesome. <laughs> Go Izzy. She saves Woo! it right till the end right here, but that, that was, was amazing. Yeah, because Jackson was going in there and figured she'd play a little defense right there, and then <laughs> Izzy's like, not on my watch. As Jason Waits always tells me, bring out the putter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was Here's a putter, the putter right there. Yep. <laughs> Beautifully done. 
Awesome goal. Oh, she's a great player. All right. Izzy going to win another throw, and right here, here she goes, taking off. She's going to hit this one back, but Mia on a fresh horse right here. Parsons knows she's not going to be able to beat Mia on this play. She's going to check up and see if she can't stop her right here. Oh, thought about What a turn. That was awesome, Mia. That's the one thing with Mia. You don't want to let her turn it. Yeah. She is Great lethal. read right nice there by Kylie. Shot. Nice clean back shot. And now it's going to be Parsons back on that ball. Izzy, she's going to be challenged here by uh, Flanagan. Now... Picking this one up. Oh, well done. What a reach right there. Beautifully done by Jackson. Hazel having trouble. Oop, there she goes. Got that one to come back. Drops the ball right there. And I think we must have got a whistle. Maybe a reaching call here going against Hazel when she was trying to pull that horse back over. Looked a little like she was out of mouth. Yeah. <laughs> or as I like to say, the clutch was slipping a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's just over the, bo the boards here, so no, no, no penalty. It's just a uh, possession play. Mia, though, recovers the ball. I mean, leaves it there. Well done, Pam Flanagan. Well done, Megan Shader. Staying right there with Mia. Flanagan doesn't connect. And Izzy's going to come up with the play. Izzy takes the ball off the boards right here, tries to get back to it, but Mia is there with it. Shader trying to make a defensive play. Now it's going to be Megan Shader right here with a little back shot. Cecily Ooh. wants two and finds a whistle on the play. Well done, Cecily. Well, Blue Water's been fighting hard. i got to say, the score hey. doesn't really reflect the game. I, I agree. Think. Like I said before, I, I think, first of all, you know, when it comes down to it, every every single mistake that, that Blue Water made, Hawaii Pole Life jumped on it immediately and put their backs against the wall. Yeah, yeah. And and they came out swinging from the first shucker. You know, they 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 won the first shucker 3-0 and then, you know, 2-0 the next one. So when you have two shuckers like that, it's really hard to, like you said before, not panic. Yeah, you yeah. Know? It's, it's hard to, to not check out and just go. Yeah. And the thing is, once you get discouraged, it's really tough to, to get that that drive back in, you know, because you're like, oh, man, everything's going wrong today. And then, and then you start questioning yourself when you go to hit the ball. Yeah. Then you don't hit the ball. Then you're topping the ball, you yeah. know, and it's like it becomes quicksand, you know. The more you struggle and fight to get out, the, more, the deeper you sink. So, hey, and if you're a polo player, we've all had days where we've been on both these teams, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Good Ooh. read right there by Izzy to yeah. let that ball roll out. That is one place where we've seen everybody struggle here is on these penalty threes. Look at Izzy, though. She's oh, not done. This, She's going to keep going. I love it. That's, this is that gray horse Blanca that I'm yep. just so in love with. Who owns this one? Matias Magrini. It's Magrini's. Okay. Yeah, no, she gets a lot done on this horse. Look at this. Kylie Sheehan working this one down past midfield. Goes ahead. Now here comes Parsons. She's going to send hit it one time. Boom. Back down the right-hand side. Here comes Kylie. Get there, Kylie. Get there, Kylie. Oh. oh. Doesn't a little too get much cowbell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's going to be getting pretty close to game right here. But for What a game. These women are just so impressive. I completely agree. Yeah, I think it's been a fantastic, been a great tournament all yeah, the way around. 100%. Good pick up here by Jackson. Hazel moves it on down. They're still not done playing. They're going to keep going until that final horn sounds. Open back shot from Sheehan. But it's going to be picked up here again by Hazel Jackson. She winds up, sends it back up there to Cecily. Congratulations, Cecily. What a great goal, too, huh? What a great game for her, yeah. You, you were showing me your, your group text message there. Yeah, from Denver Polo. It's, uh, they're all screaming and yelling on the WhatsApp. It's, we're all very proud. Well, congratulations to Hawaii Polo Life. Congratulations. Three out of four years winning the yep. Women's U.S. Open. Cecilia, any final words here? Um, thank you for having me. This was a blast. I, I, um, I I'm just so proud of all the women that were involved in this whole tournament and everybody that put together. And it's, I, I look forward to watching more of it. Absolutely. It's well, Cecilia, thank you so much for coming in. We really enjoyed having you. Great, great commentary from you. Great insight. Um, I'm Toby Wayman for Cecilia Cochran. I'd like to thank you all so much for tuning in to Global Polo TV, the exclusive broadcaster for all the United States Polo Association's official events. And we will see you 
tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for our second quarterfinal in the 2022 edition of the USPA Gold Cup.